Uh, the first thing that I want you all to always be a church that understands is that Jesus Christ is coming back again. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so um, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to look around in our culture and in our time and see that our culture and our country and the world is becoming more and more wicked and depraved by the hour. And so Jesus said to us, Chris, he said to us that as we get closer to the second coming of Jesus Christ, that it will be like the days of Noah. Well, what were the days of Noah like? Number one, they were filled with wickedness and immorality. Don't shut down on me. Look at somebody say, don't shut down. Don't shut down. Don't shut down. Look at the other one that didn't say nothing. Don't, don't, don't shut down. Look at the other one and say, get out of your phone. You ain't, you ain't looking at nothing but a text message. Um, wicked and immoral. Depraved. Any and everything went. Whatever felt good, yeah, they did it, right? Um, and it seems like our culture is the exact same way. Wicked, yes, Lord, and immoral. Nothing is has any sanctity to it at all. Whatever feels good seems to go. By the lack of amen, y'all must be doing it now. With no conviction, that's the part. With no, I'm sorry. With no feeling of, I need to do better. I need to come out of this. I need to change, right? It was a wicked and immoral culture and a wicked and immoral time. The second thing that was happening during the days of Noah was, that the divine, if you read earlier in the chapter, you'll find out that there were angels that slept with women. Angels are divine beings that have a holy position. And yet, they were compromising their holy position to indulge in carnal pleasures. During the days of Noah, it was the divine seeking fleshly pleasures. Um, in these days and times, and I'm talking about beyond 